Oh yeah! Welcome to the Xbox. Oh shit! Xbox One E3 press conference. Where the Xbox One slogan is, we got entertainment, and none of that other bullshit. So, I like everyone else was very worried if Xbox was going to show any games as E3. But surprisingly, Xbox delivered a host of exclusives with an impressive 15 game lineup window at launch in November. And I thought that Microsoft proved everyone wrong. November in 21 markets around the world at $499, $499, $499, $499, $499. bucks for this piece of shit? Uh, Microsoft, I don't know if you're aware or not, but our economy is still in the shithole, and I'm afraid no one is going to cash out for a $500 console at launch. But I guess someone's gonna like this piece of shit. So, if you really want it, we could at least look at some of the games that Microsoft showed off this press conference. First up is Crimson Dragon, my personal favorite trailer. Well, maybe the sound is day one DLC or something. What kind of fucked up game is this? Nonetheless, it looks very interesting and I hope that it could help sell a $500 console because nothing could sell this piece of shit. But maybe a remake can. Remember Killer Instinct on the N64? No? Well, fuck you. So I guess Microsoft plans to win over people with a game made by the same people who made G.I. Joe and Battleship. Double Helix has no connection with Killer Instinct and no connection to fighting games in general. Why the fuck are they making the game? My favorite trailer shown was a teaser for the game made by the developers of Alan Wake. Quantum Break is the first game to connect with a real life TV show. Apparently the choices made in the game reflect on how the TV show appears to the gamer, which means that two different people might see something completely different from one another. Not much was said about the TV series, but hopefully we'll hear about more in the future. Next up is my personal favorite announcement, Metal Gear Solid 5. This is fucking epic. This will be the first open world Metal Gear for the franchise, and it's fucking has the new espionage action and, and shit. But the good news is that the game will be multi-platform, so if you don't like Xbox One, you could you could tell that to go fuck itself. Ladies and gentlemen, please unzip your pants at this very moment, cause shit just got real. Shit just got real. So, that's about it. Of course, there was a lot of action-packed, smart glass technology in this pile of shit. My thoughts on the press conference were very biased, of course, but believe it or not, Microsoft actually did a good job on something. There was no sign of television anywhere, no next-gen Dan Central, come on, you know you love it. Sure, there was lots of potential, but in the end, Microsoft can go fuck themselves. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like and favorite or like whatever. Fuck. <laughs>